Hi guys, I'm here with another shoe review. And this time it is for a company called La Moda. I found this company through someone else's review of their shoes and they looked very, very cute. So I decided to get a few pairs for myself. I bought these back in November. I won't lie, it's been a while. However, we haven't been going out anywhere. It's because of everyone knows why. They've just sat in the box. Okay, first up, I have these shoes right here. These are called the Perceptions Chunky Platform Boots, and they are 52 pounds, I believe. That's the currency, which is about like 70 US dollars. I think I ended up paying 40 though when they were on sale. So this is what they look like. They are very, very tall got a massive platform and obviously a massive heel on them. They're stretchy right here, so they stretch to get your foot in and out because as you can see there is like no zippers or laces or anything like that. It's all just relying on this stretch right here. It also has a belt right here that has a little bit of elastic to stretch with it so you don't have to like undo the belt to get your foot in. I got it in what I thought was a US size 5. However, it turns out I was wrong. I read the measuring chart wrong. Don't ask me how I did it. I just somehow did. Both shoes are like a size bigger than I normally wear. However, they're like a US size 6. I do sometimes wear a US size 6 depending on the shoes. These are very true to size. They fit like how a true to size size 6 would fit on me. There's a little bit of extra toe room when I wear them, but it's fine. I'm just going to stuff the sock in there and wear them anyways. You might be wondering, well, if you got them in the wrong size, why didn't you exchange them? And that is because they don't do exchanges for international customers. If you live in the UK, you're able to exchange the shoe for the size you need if you do buy the wrong size. However, if you're international, like I am, because I'm in the US, uh, you can't. You can return it and repurchase it However, I bought these on sale, so by the time I got these, the sale was over and I couldn't return it to repurchase it for the price I originally got it for. I'm fine with having a slightly oversized shoe. Again, it's not that drastically of a different fit, a size 5 to size 6, depending on the shoe. I can't talk too much about how they feel when worn because I haven't really worn them. I wore them long enough to try them on and that was about it. From that alone, they feel comfortable. They feel like how you ex would expect a shoe like this to feel like, like they're high heels, so they're not the most comfortable shoe in the world, but they're pretty decent, especially since they have a thicker heel. Um, the balance is pretty easy to keep. It's got big chunky platforms. They're heavier than other shoes, I would say. They're not my heaviest shoes, but they are a little more on the heavy side like they're not super light like a tennis shoe or something but nothing to the leather or the fake leather that it's made out of is obviously painted and i noticed that i assume in shipping or in packaging there was a small scratch on it which i don't think is going to show but there is a scratch like right here and just this plastic piece at the bottom of this heel is very scratchy like i feel like if i accidentally whack these two things together like whack one heel on the other it's just going to scrape off a bunch of the paint like it's very sharp i would say so that's just something to be aware of and be careful of because it does seem to scratch fairly easily like i said there's a little scratch right here from when i got it that i assume happened in shipping or packaging and just nobody noticed. The shoes glued together like all around the sides this heel is like glued on or at least this red part of the heel is. However right here it's pulling away just a teensy bit so I hope that's not going to be a problem in the future. I feel like this is just to glue on the decorative red outside of the heel though and so this won't have like a lot of stress on it in general. Besides those couple of issues, everything else with these shoes looks pretty good. The, the platform part of the shoes on the outside, it's slightly fuzzy 
It's not like fuzzy, like fabric fuzzy, but whatever this, like the plastic, it's textured so that it's fuzzy. Does that make sense? So where you hit your shoe along things, like just from me touching it like this a lot, you can see little scratch marks in it. Like not indented scratch marks, just like you scratching off the fuzziness, basically. You can see right here, like all these lines in it. So that's just another thing to note that any little tiny scratch like even just scraping my nails along it will create a line. I think this is just to make it matte, honestly, because it gets a little bit more of a shine when the fuzziness is gone. One last thing, because I know this might bother some people, is the seam on the middle right here isn't necessarily like the nicest. You don't see the white from this side at all, but when you turn around here, you do see the white this is like the part that's not painted on the leather basically fake leather and it's actually kind of noticeable it's not pressed in like it should have been you can see that they tried but the rest of it just didn't make it so that's just something to note are they worth the price i think for the 40 us dollars that i bought them for i think they're a good price i think the 70 us dollars is a little bit pricey for them but if you really like the design i think it's worth it i'm pretty sure that I still would have bought these at some point for the 70 US dollar price tag because they're they're just very cute. I think they're fairly unique looking. Like I like how it has like this black elastic right in here and it's a really thick and sturdy elastic too. It's not about to like unravel. I love the color as well and I like the little triangle belt buckle that they got going on here and the pointed tip on the belt. I think it's a really 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 pretty design. Really cool design. I'm absolutely in love with them and I think they're still fairly well made. There's just a few a few issues which are bound to happen with most shoes if they wanted to improve it I would just kind of smooth out this edge a bit because I think what happened is one of the heels when they were packaged might have whacked into each other at some point. The shoes are going to get scraped up eventually. It would just be nice that they didn't come with little scratches. Again, it's very minor. Nobody's really going to see it, so it doesn't matter that much. I just want to point out everything in case these things are important to you because they are pricier shoes. But yeah, overall, I think they're a really good shoe. Again, I think the quality is pretty good. There's just some minor nicks on it. I don't personally care about. I just don't want to just ignore it though in a review in case that is something somebody cares about but yeah i'm really happy with it the next pair i got were these shoes right here and these are the oh so savage platform ankle boots they're originally 48 pounds which is about 65 dollars us i think i got them for like i am pretty sure it's around 30 i think it was like 31 something so this is what these shoes look like the reason why i was super drawn to these shoes as you can see here is they have this very interesting heel design to them so this is how they look when they're sitting flat the toe here curves up a bit and the heel here curves inwards the toes are pointed they just kind of gave me like really witchy vibes and i love it they're a very simple shoe that can go with a lot of things but they also have like a very unique look to them or a very different look to them like they're they still stand out in a way while like blending in with an outfit and can give an outfit a little bit more of a witchy vibe. So for these ones, they have the same, not issue, but they have the same thing to note where this edge here is very rough. Like it's really hard plastic that's fairly like sharp and rough here. So if you end up whacking them against each other, you're definitely going to scratch your shoes. This sole all along here along the inside of the shoe is plastic which is interesting because that one was fabric yeah so this one has a bit of a scratch in it right here hopefully it shows up even if my camera won't focus on it but because i don't want to assume that their shoes always come with scratches or scuffs on them i'm thinking that for the sale they prioritized giving away shoes that had minor like flaws like very very minor again this isn't something anyone's going to really see it's just if you look at your shoes closely enough you're going to notice it and i might worry about this healing 
a bit more. There's a bit of glue residue on the inside of the heel right here, but like on this part. Again, I got these in the same size that I got the last shoes. They fit exactly the same. And yeah, I, I think that's all I really have to say about these shoes. They're fairly simple. There wasn't too much wrong with them to point on. They feel fairly well made. Like they, they feel just as well made as these shoes do. Again, the only real issues I had with any of the shoes were just some small scratches and nicks and that could have happened in shipping for all I know. Like, there's only so much you can do to protect your items. And they definitely try, they put them in like separate baggies and put stuffing in the box as well. It could have just been in manufacturing and they can't get rid of like every shoe that has some small flaw. So they're hoping that it's just okay. Again, they might have save these for the sales isn't that big of a deal. Again, I paid like $30 for these shoes. I think that's a pretty good price for them. I can overlook small nicks coming with the shoes for that price because they're still very pretty, the very unique design, very interesting design. Really, really like them. Do I think they're worth the, I think it was like 65 US dollars at normal price? Um, I would say so. I don't think that's too bad of a price for these. I think they're very pretty and their shoes are well made. Wait, I forgot to talk about weight. These shoes are significantly lighter than these shoes. For obvious reason, these shoes have a much bigger platform on them, um, but there's still a little teensy bit of weight to them. If you have like heeled ankle boots, they'll probably weigh around the same as that. They're just more, they're obviously more than like a tennis shoe or a normal heel. So that's both of the shoes. I think if they don't come with like any scratches and scuffs on them, or any other issues, obviously. I think they're very much worth the price. I think these can easily be $60 and $70 shoes. They're very pretty, very unique, very well made from what I can tell and feel very well made. Like the material is really nice that they picked for it. It doesn't feel cheap. It's really thick and really sturdy. I can't really comment on shipping time because I bought it during the holiday season during a pandemic when shipping it was all sorts of messed up. So. They took a little bit to get here, but that was for many other reasons. Oh, and shipping fee. Shipping for two shoes was $10.99 to the US from the UK. I really like these shoes. I'm super in love with them, super happy with them. I think, I think they're really cute and they're gonna go with a lot of outfits. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and check out the website because they got some really cute shoes on there, guys. Uh, and yeah, have a lovely day. Thanks for watching and bye.